Hey guys, now you can follow me on Facebook. Just go to facebook.com slash ultramaximusreviews. Oh hey, it's Iron Man. Remember in Avengers Endgame when you... No spoilers, jackass. But what about when he did that one thing when he... You suck. So what was your favorite part? I am Iron Man. Wait, what? Hello YouTube, Ultra Maximus back with another toy review and today we're going to take a look at an Avengers in-game figure. It's Iron Man. Now, at the time of this recording, uh, Avengers Endgame is being released in the United States. I will probably have gone and seen it on a Saturday morning uh, because I don't like going out at the movies at night anymore because I'm old and I don't like crowds, especially big movies like this. Uh, but they finally released the movie line figures in my area and they had pretty much all of them. I picked up this Iron Man because, well, it looks really interesting. I like the fact he's got the Avengers outfit and the Iron Man helmet. I'm interested to see if he's actually going to be like this in the film. I believe we saw a shot of War Machine like this. And ironically, War Machine looks like the same figure from Infinity War. So I don't know. Let's go ahead and take a look at the packaging. So here we have Iron Man in the packaging, and there's something about this figure that I like. I like the fact he's in uh, the Avengers uniform, although it's like a silver gray color here, and in the trailers, it's white. Uh, so I'm not sure what's going on there. And I like the fact that he's not in an Iron Man suit, really, but the Avengers suit. But I don't really remember him being in this suit in the trailer, uh, at least completely. I remember seeing Tony in this costume, but minus the helmet. I'm sure it'll pop on in the film. Uh, but I think I remember seeing War Machine in this type of outfit, which the toy doesn't have. It looks like an Infinity War um, reissue. Uh, but yeah, definitely interesting. It's got Iron Man up here at the top. We get an Avengers Endgame logo minus Endgame. So I wonder if it's going to be a different title in different uh, regions around the world. And they just left Avengers on there as generic box uh, packaging. Who knows? But yeah, here's a close-up. There's Iron Man looking all types of cool. And then there's the Avengers logo right there. Nothing on the sides of the packaging. It's got a little blue blast in there, which looks neat. Back of the package has Iron Man artwork there, a little tiny write-up. Other figures in the wave, um, including Ronan. I did see a Captain Marvel, but I passed on her. I also saw Captain America, passed on him as well. But I may go ahead and pick him up to match the uh, Iron Man here. Uh, that'll look pretty cool side by side. So just kind of a close up. If you want to pause and read that, you are more than welcome to. But yeah, there he is looking all types of cool. And then there are the other figures in the movie line. So yeah, definitely a very fun. Let's go ahead and get Iron Man out of the box and see what we think. So here we have Iron Man out of the packaging, and I really like the look of this figure. Um, although I don't think it's movie accurate. I've seen some pictures online where uh, when he's in this outfit, uh, he's got more, it looks like Ant-Man's helmet, really. So I'm not sure what's going to happen with that. Um, but uh, I have seen uh, video uh, clips of War Machine that's in a similar outfit, but his looks a little bulkier with the helmet on there. I may try head swapping the War Machine helmet for this one and getting a more movie accurate look for him. Also thought about going and uh, getting some white paint and... Uh, uh, you know, going from this dark silver gray to the white because, well, the, it's white in the movie. But those are just kind of little nitpicks. I love the look of the figure. I think it looks really, really cool. Uh, he does come with a play gimmick where he's got this kind of, uh, you know, pulsar blast uh, thing right here. So uh, there's a hole in his wrist right to there. And uh, you basically just kind of plug it in. If I can get this thing to plug in right. There we go. So, yeah, there he is with his blast uh, piece. If I can stand right, there we go. Hey, yeah, boom, pew, pew, pew. There it is. And, uh, yeah, okay, sure. Looks pretty decent, I guess. Um, I don't really recall it being blue, though. I think more of like a yellowish-orange color would have been a lot cooler. 
but I suppose it works and I'm interested to see if I can get this to work on like uh, some Marvel Legends figures. That might be kind of cool. As far as articulation goes on this guy, um, his head moves uh, back and forth. It looks down a decent ways. It looks up pretty decent. There's no twist at the waist, which is uh, painful. Uh, I don't know why they don't do that. Um, I will say the DC movie figures uh, have a lot better articulation. Uh, thanks, Mattel. Uh, now, his arm does go up that high. It twists around like that. He's got a single joint uh, uh, hinge at the elbow that twists. There is no um, wrist articulation, unfortunately. His legs kick that far up. They barely kick back at all, and there is nothing at the knees or the ankles, uh, which is a bit painful, but yeah, it is what it is, and it still looks damn cool. So taking a closer look at the figure itself, I love the concept of this figure. Uh, it's got the classic kind of Iron Man shell head, and then we've got this Avengers uh, bodysuit going on. I like the A on there. The red highlights look cool. Uh, we got these shoulder bands at the top that are in black. Um, all the detail on the suit looks nice. It looks like it could be an iron armor suit, um, but also looks like it could be one of their Avenger battle suits. Just detailed galore everywhere. The only real gripe I've got in regards to this suit is that it's kind of a gray, silvery color, where in the trailers, it's white. And I've seen some people customizing some of these figures online to paint them white, and it looks really, really nice. I may try that myself. Uh, but the design of the thing, I don't know. There's something about it I really enjoy. Take a look at the midsection of the figure. I like how we get this uh, kind of blue uh, paint app on his uh, arm there or his wrist. I think that's some kind of device they use with pin particles or something in the movie. I'm not really sure yet. I guess we'll see when it comes out. But we get a nice uh, uh, breakup of the black and the gray everywhere. Um, just lots of really good detail. Uh, again, I think the gray should have white on it. If it's not all white, it should have like white highlights, I think. Would have been nice to kind of break it up a little bit. But uh, yeah, I mean, that's, you know, part of the cost, I suppose. Uh, but overall, yeah, pretty good. Great detail. Love that A on the chest. And it just, I don't know, I can't wait to see it in action on film. And then finally, taking a look at the legs of the figure. Very standard kind of Iron Man looking legs. Except now they're kind of in this gray color with some black on the front uh, breaking it up. Uh, to kind of give it that uniform look that they have in the film. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, it's a pretty stable figure. I wish there was more articulation in it but it stands well and it looks nice and tough. For comparison, so here we have the Avengers Endgame Iron Man next to the original uh, Mark I Iron Man from the 2008 film. Uh, so we've got potentially the very first Iron Man to the final Iron Man uh, as Robert Downey Jr. I'm pretty sure is done with this franchise. So yeah, there's the evolution from one all the way 10, 11 years later back to Endgame. So yeah, there's the evolution from one all the way 10, 11 years later back to Endgame. It's definitely kind of cool to see them together. Um, I can't wait to see it up on the film and see what it looks like. So is the Avengers Endgame movie line Iron Man figure something you want in your Marvel collection? Well, if you don't like these movie line figures, this is an easy pass. I don't know what the Marvel Legends uh, Iron Man looks like. I haven't really seen a picture of it. Um, I know Tony Stark wears this suit in the trailers, but I don't see him with this mask. I've seen pictures where he had more like an Ant-Man mask, but I like this look. I hope we do get it. I know we get it for um, War Machine, so uh, I'm presuming we'll get this for Iron Man. I guess we'll see uh, when I go see the film on Saturday. Um, I love the design. Articulation is very lacking. Uh, I think Hasbro does a bad job with the movie line figures and articulation. Mattel just succeeds much better for DC in that arena. Uh, but the sculpt and the paint and the look is awesome. I will give it that. And, you know, this is potentially the last look of the uh, Robert Downey Jr. Iron Man that we're going to see in the Marvel films. 
um, because I think he's pretty much done with the uh, film franchise. So um, it was definitely cool to see. And I don't know, it's just there's something different about it, and that's why I like it. So there he is, Iron Man from Avengers Endgame by Hasbro. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you like this video, thumbs it up. If you hate this video, thumbs it down. To watch more Ultra Maximus, click on the links to the right. Don't forget to subscribe and share, like us on Facebook, and look for more videos in the future.